told you that I'll be teaching the word and I want you to write everything. So, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's read Jeremiah 23. From verse 20. Verse 20. Can we read Amplified Bible? AMP. Read Mama 20. Arabaleng mola go tswa verse 20 ere yes <coughs> the anger of the lord will not turn back until he has set in motion and accomplish the thoughts and intention of his heart in the last days you will clearly understand it i did not send this counterfeit prophets Yet they ran, I did not speak to them. Yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel, then they would have caused my people to hear my words. Then they would have turned my people from their evil way and from the evil of their decisions and deeds. Am I a God who is at hand, says the Lord? and not a God far away? Can anyone hide himself in secret places so that I cannot see him, says the Lord. Do I not feel heaven and earth, says the Lord? I have heard what the prophets have said who prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed visions when on my bed at night, how long shall the state of affairs continue? Is there anything in the hearts of the prophets who prophesy falsehood under these prophets of the deception of their own hearts? Who think that they can make my people forget my name by their contrived dreams which each one tells another? Just as their fathers forgot my name because of Baal, the prophet who has a dream may tell his dream, but who has my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What a straw in common with wheat for nourishment, says the Lord, is not my word like fire that consumes all that cannot endure the test says the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the most stubborn rock in pieces. Therefore, behold, hear this. I am against the counterfeit prophets, says the Lord. I am descending on them with punishment. These prophets who steal my words from one another, imitating the words of the true prophets, Hear this, I am against the prophet, says the Lord, who use their own deceitful tongues and says, Thus says the Lord, Hear this, I am against those who have prophesied false and made up dreams, says the Lord, and I have told them and have made the people err and go astray by their lies and by their reckless boasting. Yet I did not send them. Or command them nor do they benefit and enhance the life of these people in the slightest way says the Lord let's pray thank you Lord for your word in Jesus name amen amen uh, you know this week I got this message it really frightened me so, I was asking myself do we really read the Bible? Because if we can see here, God was speaking to prophets. But this message is a message of all of us, pastors, followers, everyone. Just write, do not lie. You know what do not lie. I found that lying is very dangerous. 
Where mama she's reading the first thing that I heard was Mama ma ba dileng una le taba ya mathomo ke tweleng a she This prophets who are counterfeiting Ona le ba profita ba ba dirang uri tsa nnete di se betsona And then they lie and a be di ba bolela maka and make God's people to forget his name Ba dira hore ba thoba modimo ba le ba le le vitjo la modimo That's the only message I wanted to talk about. Ke mala e choke ratang o tlo bolela ka bona. Of the prophets. Mo le thakoreng la ba prophet. They lie maka and make people to forget the name of God. A dira hore ba thoba le ba le le vitjo la morena. And God was saying. Ana modimo na ba re. I feel the heaven. I feel this earth. No one can hide from me. You know, the moment I heard that, I said, we need to be afraid to lie. So God was angry. He said he will descend on them. You know, there's another thing we have read there. It says, other prophets, they take from others who are true. And then they prophesy what others have prophesied. And God didn't send them. I want to show you something there verse 20 said the anger of the lord will not turn back until he executed and performed the, the, the thoughts of his heart and in the latter days he he will understand it perfectly in other words, you won't understand it now but when the lord began to take over you will understand it 21 says 21 I have not sent these prophets yet they run and i have not spoken to them yet but he says but if they had stood in my counsel if they have stood in the word if God, God will guide them hallelujah amen so you can see here God is saying God is saying the judgment is not only for the followers. He want to descend even to us who are leaders. We are not supposed to lie. If God didn't send us, he didn't send us. I want to show you in Ezekiel 13. It's the same kind. Ezekiel 13 verse 1. Can you read? And the word of the Lord came to me saying, yes. Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel who prophesy and say to those who prophesy from their own inspiration, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, woo, judgment coming yes. to the foolish prophets who are following their own spirit, claiming to have seen things but have in fact seen nothing. You can hear the Bible says they claim they have seen something and they have not seen anything. Automatically what they will say will be a lie. Maybe that's the reason why God said do not fear a prophet that will speak things that will never happen. That's why Bible says do not fear a prophet that will Oh Israel your prophets has been like foxes among the ruins. You have not gone up into the gaps or breaches, nor built the wall around the house of Israel that it might stand in the battle on the day of the Lord. They have seen falsehood and lying divination, saying, the Lord says, but the Lord has not sent them. Yet, you can stop there that you know, on the prophets, God, after they have seen, God Kam must send them. 
Because the Bible says they have seen foldhood and divination. Iri baboni chabu nuge lichamaka. You have seen falsehood. In other words, there's something that they saw. But God didn't send them. You know, I mean, we also heard about the dreams in the book of Jeremiah. So this is the time that we must never take whatever God didn't say. Can you just read going down, Mama? Said, yes. Did you not see make up a false vision and speak a lying divination when you said the Lord declares but it is not I who have spoken. Therefore thus says the Lord God because you have spoken empty and delusive words and have seen lies. Therefore behold I am against you says the Lord God. Listen, lies makes the prophets, the prophets. I'm not talking about the followers now. God says, I will be against them. What, what about the follower? If God say, I will be against this prophet. Who sees falsehood? What about the follower? Because if God say, I will be against them, they have seen falsehood and divination and I'm coming against them. My question is, what about you who are not mentioning here? Already we have learned that lies from the prophets, Researchi, apostles, pastors, teachers, makes the people of God to forget his name. Automatically, these people will forget God's name. And they won't worship him. Because they've forgotten God's name. How many people today are going to church seeking for prophecies without relationship with Jesus? How many people today who have been lied to holding lies without God and then not knowing that this is lies? The Bible says they can make up prophecies. I could not send them. I didn't send them. These are leaders now who speak what God didn't send. If we read Acts 5, and we start from verse 1, we see grace and beauty. Grace and beauty. Ananias and Sapphira. Ananias Ananias means grace. Ananisia ira haugel. Sapphira means beauty. Sapphira ilibubuzi. Being destroyed. Bafedisha. And because of lies. Kalba kalama kafela. If we can see that. Hauka kono lemoseu. These are Christians who were following the apostles. Ba kiba puluso neba shalom raubu mu apostola. But now they were not even aware that when they lie, they are lying against them. Zano neba sa tibilu raba bulela makaba bulela makaha tano lemo yomuketwa. If we read that, there are things I want to tell you. Arima la mola wali chapa kinyoko libucha chona lidi wale. Number one thing they did was. Yama tomo ya wana ashi. When Peter spoke with them, you could see when they lie, it was because number one, Satan filled their heart. Peter says, Ananias, why is you allow Satan to fill your heart? Whoever lies is, yeah. fills, is filled by Satan. And is, number two, he said, you didn't just lie, but you lied to the Holy Spirit. How many Christians today 
we are lying in the church wherever we are and lying to the Holy Spirit. Number three, Peter spoke. He yep. said, yep. You, you had opportunity. He gave him opportunity. He says, when you sold your land, you had opportunity not to give it here. In other words, you had opportunity to repent. You when you are there, before you come here, if you can see Ananias and Sapphira, they were given chance they were given opportunity not to lie. The first thing they agree, in other words, they manipulated everything. They stood up by themselves and said, We are going to lie. If you want to see that they have agreed to lie and rob the Holy Spirit. They didn't come there on the right hand. In other words, they tried to, I mean, to defend their lies. to defend their lies. Ananias says, remain there. I will go, but come and confirm what I said. Many times we defend our lies. There are many people today, they lie, but they defend their lies. And the Bible says it was the end of it. He lied. He was given chance. He had chance to repent. He lied to the Holy Spirit and also had opportunity to defend his and lies. punishment came. Many times we don't know that God has filled heaven and earth. Whatever he sees of you you can hide from him. If we read Genesis 4 if we read from verse 9 if we read we see Cain when God asked him where is your brother? God was aware that he killed his brother. But he showed, he lied. I mean, he was before God. He had opportunity to repent. He was supposed to have said, I'm sorry. Because of envy, I've killed him. But he says, hey, don't ask me, I don't know. Then the Lord what? said to Cain, yes. Where is Abel your brother? And he lied and said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? Can you just hear this man lying? He said, I don't know. <laughs> And he end up speaking bad towards God. And he went away from God's with the curse. Many times we don't know that lies bring curses. I don't know if you are hearing me. If we carry on lying, we are entitled to have a curse. We will be taken out of God's presence. And we will live outside with a curse. If you read Proverbs 101, read verse 7. It says, Whoever lied will never continue in my presence. Listen to this. When Cain lied, he declared himself that he is not. Part of God's presence. Many times when we lie, we just end up looking at it as if it has happened and we end up defending it. And we found ourselves carrying on sin on top of the same route. In John 8 verse 44 Jesus says you are of the father the devil. It is your will to practice your desire. Many 
Because you are doing the character of your father. You are of your father the devil. When you lie, you declare your father. The moment you just lie, you have finished, you declare your father. The Bible shows that when, when Satan lie is his natural. Satan You see, ninety-nine percent were here, people here. Ninety-nine percent here in Arle Anamo. Lies, lies, lies. Kima kafela. Tasa, look at your neighbor. Say, Do not lie. Lies, lies, lies. You see, the reason why when you pray. Leva kalaura au yora pela. And you can't change the situation. You lie, lie, lie. You love talking. And what you are talking, you don't know. And if you can be questioned, you don't know. Also. This is the time that you must guard your mouth. So here you declare yourself that you are a child of the devil when you lie. Let's read Colossians 3 verse 9. The Bible says, do not lie to one another. Colossians 3 verse 9. Why? Because God has allowed you to strip the old life. In other words, the old nature the old now you are a new creature you know but the way you lie you are telling you that the blood of Jesus has not done anything can you read verse 9 mama do not lie to one another for you have stripped off the old self with its evil practices with its evil practices. Look here. If you say you are Christian. And sometimes you lie. It means the old nature is still in you. Remember that what you say you become. Many times we have got Christian they lie. Some of you, you lie by chatting. Even this phone is making you to lie. The phone is making you to lie. The phone is making you to lie. The phone the moment you are in somewhere where you know your partner won't like it. But now, when the person calls you, you are afraid. And you are afraid. 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 You are You are afraid. You are afraid. You but you know very well that you're already out of the work. You say it's now that we are finishing. Now. But you are not finishing anything. Is that what you are finishing? You don't want to tell your partner. I mean, the way you people. You end up lying. It's not only you now. It's a leader. You could hear what the Bible says. We are prophesying lies. All of us, we are entitling ourselves for judgment. You know, one of the things that you need to know. If you don't lie, if you don't lie, and your enemy lies. Just know that that enemy won't conquer you. I don't know if you're hearing me. Because you are in his presence. When you live the life of the truth. And it's outside of his and God's presence. I don't know if you're hearing me. Can we read First John? If we can read from verse 1. Yeah, chapter 1 verse 5. First John. Chapter 1 from chapter 5 one to seven. Seven. Verse 5 to 7. Can you read, Mama? Yes. Tell your neighbor, don't lie. Look at somebody very close, you will see lies. Just look at your neighbor, you will see lies. Say, shake, hold a person. Hold a person. Are you holding the person? Say, look at me. Say, look at me. When was the last time you lied? Okay, can you just read, read from verse 5? Verse 5. 
Isewa. Joanna Wapili from verse 5. This is the message of God's promised revelation, which we have heard from him and now announce to you that God is light. He is holy. His message is truthful. He is perfect in righteousness. And in him there is no darkness at all. No sin, no wickedness, no imperfection. If we say that we have fellowship with him and yet walk in the darkness of sin, we lie and do not practice the truth. Let's stop there. Here you can hear the John old man say, if you, John, say you have got fellowship with Christ, you see that you and you are not, you lie. In other words, lies is not issues of your mouth only. The last time. The last time. You know, there are some people who have got the lifestyles of lies. If your lifestyle is not of Christ-like, and you speak you are a Christian, you lie. Your character tells us if you are in truth, or or Listen to this. If you want to show that you are a Christian, everybody can still say it. But how you live your life, you are telling us you are of Christ or not. What we need today is fellowship. Fellowship with Christ. Fellowship with Christ means a lot. You know, since I'm here in Charis, I've seen liars. Too many liars. Others will say, if God blesses me, I do want to be lying. The moment when this thing comes now, others say, you see, I know Charis, and I fear God, I will die in Charis. It's better you keep quiet. Tell him, I just keep quiet. Because you are judged by what you have spoken. You end up living a life of a lie. And at the end of the day, you will defend yourself. I've got many people who are defending themselves. You know, I leave charis because Bakanani says not a man of God. No, you are defending yourself. You are supposed to have approached me. And tell me that, you know, that you, you lie one, two, three. You are not faithful one, two, three. Living charis, you lie. You will defend yourself. And very soon, the Lord will defend, will descend on you. If we read James three, if we can read verse two, verse two. Let's read very first, Mama. James three, verse two. There. James three, verse three. It's a very good verse for us. If we are watching. Lies are not good for you. Be a Christian. You will be challenged by what you said but before. But tell yourself, I was lying. Now I'm a new creature. You move forward. Read verse 2. Mama. Jacopo. 3. Jacopo verse 2. 3. Verse 2. Yes. Okay. I opened the wrong one. Okay, verse 2, it says, mm -hmm. For we all stumble and sin in many ways. Yes. If anyone does not stumble in what he says, never saying the wrong thing, he is a perfect man, fully developed in character, without serious flaws, able to bridle his whole body and reign in his entire nature. Taming his human fault and wicked and weaknesses. I was laughing. I'm laughing at this word without serious flaws. You know, the Bible shows that 
when we are of the truth we are complete if you want to see that you are not complete lies if you want to see that you must check the whole week where do you lie that's where you are weak where you are weak, you will have to defend yourself. Protect yourself. You want to talk to be heard. You want to be accepted. I don't know if you're hearing me. A person who can say, I have lied to you, I've repented. It doesn't care how you take him. He might have been about the one who called him. We are so minding about people. We have lied to. And this makes us to be not complete before God. How can God bless you with everything when you are not complete? That's the reason why you see there are things which are lacking. Like these are things that will never come because we are not complete. Such things, we want them to complete us. Today when we try to look at you, we define you by what you are having. We are supposed to be complete in the word. Complete in the Lord. I don't know if you are hearing me. Read that verse again. It says what in verse 2. Yes. If anyone does not stumble in what he says. In what he says. Never saying the wrong thing. He is a perfect man. Fully developed in character without serious flaws. With able serious flaws. to bridle his whole body and reign in his entire nature. This shows that taming his our, human faults. Our tongue, if we are able to, to speak the truth with it, without lies, lies we will be able to bridle our body. Our, some actions we are doing with our body is coming <laughs> from our tongue. One time, uh, I had this opportunity. I don't, I don't want to lie to you, but I will tell you. This opportunity was, many people were coming to me, they wanted to catch me on what I said. I heard that term, that time. I don't know if you are And then I said, if I'm complete, I don't need to add someone. Normally, when I speak something, I use questions. If you sit down with me, if I really suspect you, if you want to tape me or record me, I will be questioning you. Because I'm complete. I don't need any other thing. I don't want any other thing. I will be questioning you. So when you come and say, whom, whom is doing this? Who? I said, eh, it means you will continue. So what happened? You are the one who is explaining. You are recording yourself. Later I found that they could not get anything of what I said. Because listen, when you are not complete, where you are not complete, that's where Satan will take advantage to attack you. But if you are of the truth, you resist lies. I don't know if you are hearing me. And therefore, nobody can interfere and also attack you. In Proverbs 6, if we read from 16 to 19, you will see that God hates some things. But you know, he also hates a lying tongue. If God hates a lying tongue, if God hates a lying tongue, can you just read verse 16, Mama? Verse 16. Yes. These six things the Lord hates, yes. indeed seven are repulsive to him. A proud look, the altitude that makes one over estimate oneself and discount others. A lying tongue and a hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that creates wicked plans. Feet 
that runs swiftly to evil. A false witness who breathes out lies, even half truth, and one who speaks discord, rumors about brothers. You can hear that this is what God hates. If you're a killer, you are not a different with a liar. It hates all of you. Maybe you can read Proverbs 13 verse 5 also. You know, God hates liars, lying tongues. God hates lying tongues as much as he hates a killer. God hates a person who ran to sin as much as a witness, witness who have half truth. Listen to this. Look here how much you are speaking which is not even truth or half truth. Lies and half truth. When you finish you are going to pray. That prayer will be abomination before God. The reasons why many people's prayers are not answered. Lies, lies, lies. Can you just read verse 5? Verse 5. A righteous man hates lies, uh -huh. but a wicked man is loathsome, and he acts shamefully. In other words, it's not only God who hates lies. Even the righteous man hates lies. From today, when you, you listen to someone God speaking with you, find if this person is speaking the truth. A person who divides others. A person who lies a person who kill all of them they are hated but by God but God, God hate a lying tongue even the righteous person hate a lying tongue I don't know if you are hearing me a righteous person hate a lying tongue a wicked man loves a lying tongue one time I was somewhere, one man just came to me from when he, when he was there, he, he said he knows the car that I'm driving. From nowhere, he began to tell me his business. He says he does transportation, this, he wants to do business with me. From, the, from onset, I told him that I'm not a businessman. I'm a Christian. Some people, when you listen to them, they can deceive you because they've been deceived. I don't know if you're hearing me. They can come to you with lies and affect your faith. Many people who are coming to you are fighting your faith. He began to speak big offers. When I was listening, I said, Brother, I don't even have a business. I'm called to preach the gospel. He was disappointed. I could see that what he wanted from me could not get it. Always the wicked man finds a way in by life. To your life. If you want to be a person who can overcome, make sure that you always speak the truth. No one who lies will find a way to interfere you. To destroy you. I don't know if you are hearing me. Can we read Proverbs 19 verse 9? The Bible says the wicked person who lies, a false witness will never go unpunished and he who breaks, who lies will perish. And he who breaks, who lies will perish. 
a witness of lies will never go unpunished. But a liar very soon he will perish. Is 2 Thessalonians 2 7 to 12. 7 to 12. Can you just read that verse? 2 Thessalonians 2, 2, 7 to 12. Verse 7 of 12. For the mystery of lawlessness, rebellion against divine authority, yes. and the coming reign of lawlessness is already at work. But it is restrained only until he who now restrains it is taken out of the way. Then... The lawless one, the Antichrist, will be revealed and the Lord Jesus will slay him with the breath of his mouth and bring him to an end by the appearance of his coming. The coming of the Antichrist, the lawless one, is through the activity of Satan, attended with great power, all kinds of counterfeit miracles and deceptive signs and false wonders all of them lies stop there antichrist is coming to deceive you whoever listen to a liar and take whatever he believes is entitled to you know, some people were asking me and say, okay, what if a person is in Charis? And Pastor of Charis is a liar. And the person is serving God faithfully. There. I said, even that person will go to hell with this pastor. Because he's taking what the pastor is saying. I don't know if you're hearing that. I don't know if you're hearing that verse. Can you read that verse again? Read that verse. That verse is important for you. Read. Verse 9. Yes. The coming of the Antichrist, the lawless one, is uh -huh. through the activity of Satan. Through, At, listen, the coming of the Antichrist is oh, through activities of Satan. Okay, read there. Attended with great power with, and with, kinds of counterfeit miracles. With great power, there will be power but there will be a counterfeit miracles. And deceptive signs and false wonders. Already you are hearing it. All of them yes. lies. All of them lies. So what is it that the Antichrist is coming to do? The Bible says they were with us. And they've moved out from us. So that they manifest when they are there. Because Antichrist cannot stay with you. They are there to deceive and to lie to you. They will come with great power of lies and false miracles just to make those people who are supposed to be destroyed to believe in them. You know, when I read this, I say, God, help, help me not to lie to your people. Because at the end of the day, whoever listens to those lies is also going there. The Bible says the, the blind, I mean, the blind man cannot lead the blind. They will ask for in the ditch. Today, I'm Praying that God must reveal us to you. I don't know if you're hearing me. I'm praying so that God will reveal us to you so that you must not follow false. If you are false, God must save you. Because, you know, 
the antichrist when is revealed people like us the moment when we deceive you you won't listen to anybody you will follow us not knowing that you are going to hell I'm praying today that any ways of life you'll be able to see them so that you stay in truth I don't know if you are hearing me this is my prayer this year that we stand in the truth we must not be robbed by the great powers I don't know if you are hearing me there are great powers so those powers are there to deceive their lies let's look at 1st John 2 4 2 4 this is the last scripture I can give you many of you already underlies underlies you're under anointing of lies even the character you're showing lies even yourself you can't you can live a righteous life. Can you read verse 4? Second Peter. Verse John, 4. John. Okay. John. What about Tom? Yes. 2-4. Two, 2-4. Four. Two, four. It says. Oh God. Yes, read it. Arriba Leng. Irei. Whoever says I have come to know him but does not habitually keep focused in on his precepts and obey his commandments teachings is a liar and the truth of the divine word is not in him. Here following God becomes a habit. Studying the word becomes your life. Whoever say he knows him. When he is not habitually following him. Have you heard that verse? Habitually. Can you just read it again? Read it again. Whoever say. Because people are able to say. People are able to talk. People have got ability. Read that verse again, Mama. Whoever, whoever says, I have come to know him. I have come to know him. But does not habitually keep focused on his precepts. It means that person somewhere he does. But God wants this one who keep who does not follow God sometimes not long I found that there are some Christians in the church I don't know if you are hearing that some people they can take the Bible and make it to move without the spirit of God but they are not habitually they are not keeping they are not staying there. and then you find these people they are liars we have got many liars I'm praying for South Africa so that we run back to God we have lied too much we have lied so much Today we are failing even to win one soul. What we do, we fill our churches. For the sake of what we will find. And whoever join us goes to heaven. This is the time now whereby people will have to know that we are of the truth. And we speak the truth. You know, after I get this, I was very worried. Today we are in a gospel 
of say God says. And everyone want to follow God, want to hear what God says about his life. But we are not habitually following God in His commandment. In the Word of God, we are not existing. If we are not existing in His presence, where are we in following God? We have lied too much. The character is showing. How can we have anger? How can we have, I mean, all these characters that the haters are having? How can we compete? How truth? How can we defend ourselves if we know the living God? This is the time we speak the truth and we stop lying. Do not lie. Tell her, but do not lie. One time, uh, I found this brother I was working with many, many years ago before, before I started the ministry. And this brother always when I'm working with him he loved to go and stand at the gate so there were ladies used to pass. And when the lady passed, he would say, you know me? I'm very rich. But I knew he was poor. He was so poor, I don't know how to tell the way he presents himself. Those ladies who can't see beyond. They were following in the church. Oh, I have a son. 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 You know, there's a car that I'm driving. One day when I began to hear him, like, I love. He said, he said, my car is Thunderbirds. He said, my car is Thunderbirds. I look at the lady and say, this lady does not know cars. Because there's no car which is called Thunderbird. From, from, there, from there, I look, this guy can lie. Many people today, they've been lied to. Others, they're in marriage, lies. They've been told lies. They are greedy. When they wake up, they found they are in the sea. Already they are in the sea of lies. And I call my brother. Why are you doing this? He said, No, they won't agree. You are not going to agree. I must give them what they want. You know how Satan will work in the last days. He will give you what you want. So that you follow him. And you don't know you are following him. But today. You can ask God. I don't go by the things of the world. I want to be in truth. And I want to stop lying. How many of you want to stop lying today? Do you want to stop lying? Those who want to stop lying, I'm giving you a chance to repent. Prayer with Apostle J.B. Makananisa. Touch your screen now. Run forward very fast. Run forward very fast. Say, so I want to stop lying. Uh, it's like the whole church. Huh? All of you are coming. Ah, uh, the whole church. If you are watching, even yourself stand there. How you live a little like a hell when I am a little no more liars. For you to overcome. Because some of you, when you live here, 
some of you when you live here the people you lie to will be used to be a test for you if truly you have changed think about you have told your, uh, this sister I'm waking in the mine and whereas you are a security guard don't be afraid to lose I mean call this the brother brother sister Brother says, I have accepted Jesus because that is very important thing. But that day I have lied. I don't know what you are saying, but I have lied. Before. So the truth is, if you stand in the truth and you tell yourself, I don't want to lie again, you know what will happen to you? What you thought you won't get, God will give you. Because what we are crying for, what we are crying for, we are crying for peace. And this peace will come now. When your way with God is one, lift up your hands. Say, Oh Father. Oh Father. Today I surrender. Today I surrender. I have spoken lies. I have spoken lies. And made people to believe in lies. And made people to believe in lies. I confess all my lies. I confess all my lies. And they have truth. And they have truth. Today. Today. Wash me with the precious blood. Wash me with the precious blood. Make me your child today. Make me your child today. I'm saved. I am saved. And I believe I'm your child. And I believe I'm your child. You are my father. And you are my father. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Can you begin to thank God? Thank God and also you carry on confessing. You, you used to say this. If you, if you remember. remember. And, and you say you thank God for the precious blood of Jesus. That is cleaning everything. Carry on. Begin to thank God. You are no more liars. Carry on, say it when you are clapping your hands, thanking Him. <laughs> Carry on, don't look at don't look at anybody. In Jesus' name. I want to say congratulations. Rejoice as you are going back. Rejoice. You are not rejoicing. 